Hey everybody, today we're with Arrow Precision at the Autosport show and, and Chris Bull is with us. So we're going to do a little tech talk here on the balancing of connecting rods and how Arrow does that. So I'm going to flip the camera and uh, we'll let Chris do the talking. Hey Chris, good morning. Good morning. Um, yeah, so this morning we're just going to show um, how we group our uh, connecting rods when we make a, uh, a large batch of connecting rods, how we'll group them into uh, sets of four cylinders. Um, so what we do is uh, yeah, on the, we'll take um, just any rod and we'll tear the scale and that'll just be our zero rod. So we'll just place that there and then we'll just work our way through the batch and we're just interested, interested in the differential in the balance. And that one is weighing exactly the same as that first rod, so that goes on the zero. Next rod here, that's 1.4 grams lighter. So we'll put that one over to there. And we'll just work our way through, so it's minus 1.1. Minus 1.6 here. Yeah. Zero. Zero. And that's minus 1.6. So we have a set over here um, and a set, a zero set there. Okay, so basically when you make a batch of 50 or 100, you go through this process and then you put them in pretty much matched sets. Yeah. Your target, if I'm correct, it's to be within a thou min max, one one gram of min max. Yeah, plus or minus one gram. Plus or um, minus one gram, yeah. okay. Um, and all the sets will be like that. And yeah, we're usually trying to aim to be inside that as well. Yeah, anytime, anytime we've checked them, it seems like when we're weighing them, we're finding them to be like within, not plus or minus one, but a total min max one gram deviation, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, and to give you an idea, um, just to show that we weren't cheating with it, if you like, but a business card, that weighs 2.3 grams. That's it. Yeah. Uh, so yep. that gives you the idea. Also, what you have to bear in mind is the connecting rod is not just one piece of machine steel, it's actually an assembly. So you've got two bolts in there, you yep. have their own density and masses, and you also have a, um, a small end bush with a different material again with its own densities with yep. a press fit as well. So. Now, can you show us real quick one rod on the scale here, how you balance the rods as well? Yeah, we also, um, if we have, um, say, several rods, say, for example, if we had eight rods here and we wanted to get them into um, four-cylinder sets, but they're all identical overall weight, we, um, we will group them by the big end mass, which is the um, rotating mass of the connecting rod. So what we do is we use this setup here. Place the rod on there. We then have a small scale here, uh, a small level, let's say. Just adjust the adjusting screws, make sure everything's level. And again, we would then tear the scale to zero it. Okay, so we zero off that. And then that again becomes, this becomes our zero rod here. And then we would just, again, start from there and then we would group them according to their big end mass. So this next rod that goes on, and that's actually got an identical big end mass. And again, just to prove it, if we had a, added a business card, it would be 2.2 grams out of balance. But yeah, that's the kind of tolerances that um, yeah, we're working to on the shop floor. All right, brilliant. Appreciate it, Chris. Thanks for the uh, great information. No problem. And uh, always great working with you guys and using your products. Good to see you. Take care.